What's up guys? So I realized yesterday I posted a video, but I'm gonna post two videos, maybe even three in one week, which is pretty crazy. And this video is gonna be super quick and it's just a precursor to one of my videos that's coming out later this week. And this is just a simple video on how to import something into Widgie, which is the app that I love to use. And let's get into how to import it. So we just wanna go straight into the Widgie app right here. And this is the interface and we get all of this stuff going on right here. And all we gotta do is click that import Widgie button. So now let's get to a Widgie that we actually should import. Uh, give me a sec to send that to my iPad. Okay, so you can see right here that I have a QR code. It looks like this. And you can scan or screenshot this video and use your widgie just to test it out so we can go here now we're that we're in the widgie app and we hit import widgie and you see it goes straight to my camera look there's you guys how crazy is that okay so we go straight to my camera and see now we have the camera interface right here and here is a picture of the qr code so you can see it already picked up on that and now all we have to do is hit edit as a copy and now it's already inside of your widget interface now in order to add this to your home screen you're just want to go home and then there's a little plus button at the top left hand corner you click that button you go to the search type in widget then you scroll through and this is a medium sized widget so i meant sorry i'm so sorry <laughs> this is a large sized widget so we're going to go want to go into the widget large number two space hit add widget and then go right back into Widgie. Now inside of Widgie, we hit confirm, we hit manage, and then scroll down to the large widgets. Now go to large widget number two, and you could see that it's right here, and we just click this, and now it should pop up on our home screen. So you see, that's basically it. That's how you import a widget to your home screen. Now, in order to get that transparent background, this is kind of a double tutorial. And I realized that if you don't want the transparent background, you could just leave right now. If you're just leaning on how to like how to import it, just be sure to drop a like on your way out. Anyway, let's just get into how to do the transparent widget. So there's a app called Scriptable and we just go into Scriptable. We go into Scriptable, open up Scriptable and then go home and then hold on your home screen to go into jiggle mode as they call it. You swipe to the last page or the very, very right and screenshot your very last page and then hit done. Now we go back into Scriptable, scroll down to Transparent Widgets, which will be linked down below so you can import this into Scriptable. Click this, you hit continue, and then you're gonna wanna take the photo that you took of your home screen. And since the widget we're trying to make is large, we're gonna say large and we're trying to put it on the top, so we say top. And then we hit export to photos. And now that we have that, we'll go right back into our Widgie app. Now we click here and click this, oops, I am so sorry. Now we go back into our Widgie app, then we hit the create tab. Then we go down to the widget that we imported or whatever widget you're trying to get a transparent background to. You hit edit, you scroll the very back, the very end, which on this particular one, it says background image, or you click the add new layer, then the image button, and then hit add, then go to image and then hit image library and then hit our transparent widget and then just take your two fingers and you can kind of zoom in to scroll up and once that's scaled up you hit confirm you can go to your home screen and there you go you get a transparent widget and you see it works with the real time and everything and that's i want to credit the creator on this this was not made by me this was made by a guy on reddit and his name is art well give me a second here his name is Art, oh man, his name is JC Rocky 5 So I just want to credit him. I didn't make this. And that's pretty much it for this video. And it was supposed to be kind of a quick video just so you guys can get the gist of it. Uh, other than that, be sure to subscribe, drop a like, and see you guys.